Today we are going to be playing a little bit of Operator. Now this is a game that is in very early alpha form. Um, <clears throat> it is being created by one developer. He is 17 years old. He's been working on it since he was 13 years old. Um, it's inspired by games like Escape from Tarkov and Ground Branch. I also heard, I don't know how true it is, but that he also took inspiration from the TV show Seals. This game has a lot of really, really, really cool stuff in it from what I've seen, and um, we're going to take a look at it ourselves to see to see what we've got going on here. I did jump in it just a few seconds to go to get through like the tutorial stuff, if I had any. Um... There really isn't much of a tutorial. Um, I do know that it gives you like the screen where you can read stuff. Now, first off here, I do want to let you guys know that the, the graphics are, for some reason, in performance mode, and I cannot put them to quality. So I've been dealing with that issue. Um, Got to pick a gun there. This is where you grab all your stuff. Pistol. Like I said, I jumped in real quick to see if there's any tutorial stuff, and there wasn't that I saw. Oh, cool! So that's where that stuff is. Okay. Um, well, I think I might go with this scar right here. I'm gonna try the Afghanistan map because why not? Oh, cool! Some sledgehammers. Don't know if I'll need them, but. So here's the table. Um, as you can see. It is cool because it's a lot like Ground Branch where you can move the scope back and forth uh, to your liking. Um, oh, cool. You can even slide it in. That's pretty sick. I like that. Wow. Even slide it in your uh, mount. That's pretty cool. Slide my foregrip back and forth. We'll go there. Top rail. It's okay. 20 round, can I get a, that's it, alright, a lot of this stuff isn't unlocked yet, I'm hoping that if we can get enough people to purchase this game, then we can actually uh, get some a lot more cool stuff here. Okay, so I also put some of my stuff on here. I was trying to monkey around and get uh, helmet cam, but I do not know how to do that yet. So, oh, there's got to be a way to. I'm gonna look it up right now on my phone, actually. See if I can figure out how to do helmet cam because I think that'd be really cool and it'd create some pretty cool content. Helmet cam on operator. See, I see people playing in helmet cam. I just don't know how to do it, I guess. Hmm. Check again. Hold on. Operator helmet cam. Yeah, it's not, I don't know, and it doesn't really say in the key binds here. Kick key is space, prone key, crouch, free lean, sprint, walk, walk back, walk left, right, shoot, inspect key, fire mode. Hmm. Shadows, yep, so yeah. Hmm. Alright, well, 
if I figure it out, I will do a tutorial on that probably because this maybe I had to go into like one of these things or something. Oh no, same thing. Eyes, head, Let's see. Maybe it has to be a certain helmet that has it. Maybe like this one or something. That, that's like a camera over there, right? I don't know, man. I don't get it. Um. Alright, once I figure that out, I'll have to uh, make a tutorial on it or something. I got like short or something. Why am I so short? So you can put it in different uh, holding positions, like you can a ground branch, which I really do love quite a bit. Um, I don't want clean house, so I'll go change this over here. Hello, sir. I'm going to change this operation. Sector sweep, front house. I don't want to shoot, I just want to. Oh, there you go. I think. What? That's stupid. Oh, there you go. Um. Um, this is the one I think. All right, infiltration time. We'll go like noonish. Observed personnel. What's that like? Enemies. Sir, start operation. See what we got. So right when you get into the game, you have to shift T in order to uh, chamber a bullet, which I think is awesome. This is it's pretty ugly. Ooh, what is going on here? Probably have so many people in here, it's probably going to bog it down. Okay, so we're here. Whoa, sirs. Let everything load in. Apparently she is not optimized right now. Right, that's... There we go, run a little bit faster with pistol. I think I put too many people in here, now it's going to be like overcrowded and probably lag things a little bit, so after this we'll bring it down. I think that that's what that was, the 54 thing there, so. Uh, do I have free look? Is it tab? Nope. Shift? Nope. Alt maybe? Nope. How do I free look? Okay, there's my kick. Hmm. Alright, this is a little choppy, so we're definitely going to bring down the insurgents here next time. I think prone is Z. Yes, it is. Okay. Stand back up. Funny guy there. Come on. Oof. Yeah, this is not good. <clears throat> is that how many people are in here? Yeah, because there is a ton down there. When I saw it, there was definitely not that. Now I don't know how to zoom in here either. Those are all people down there. How come I can't zoom? Oh, whoops. I forgot to do the thing that I told you guys to do. Did I fold him up?
Stopped him. Hope he got back up. There's so many people down there, so um, I'm gonna push down here where I can. I don't know why I can't see them. Like the, the draw distance is pretty much not great right now. Um, super laggy so that is the how many people are in there so I'll just go like 15 um, just to get a feel I don't know how to zoom uh, operation and operation all right so Um, keybinds, let's see, your keybinds, zoom, you cannot zoom, okay, so I'm not going to rock that weapon then, video settings, I don't have like a draw distance either, that kind of sucks, huh, what are these, rack those suckers right up, right, yeah, hold, hold the decals, screen set, uh, sure we'll go unity high and see what we got, fidelity, yeah, I'll do that. Camera view distance. Like Let's get a different gun here. I don't know how to change my sights, like it's kind of a bummer. But we'll just rock this sucker. Uh wait, I'm not gonna do any of that. Let's just Go to the operation here. I wish I knew how to. Radio. Grab that sucker. Oh, just drop my. Oh, why is drop your gun? Okay. Um, you, FOV. Oh, cool. Um, This must be like a There's an inspect button, okay. I don't know how to free look either. Like not a free lean. That's Shepard Open, dummy. Hmm. Okay, so apparently I don't know how to. Uh, oh. Come on, pick it up. There we go. Keep that thing fingering that there. Alright. I 
let's go in and try this thing here. I just wish I had a, I don't know how to change that scope, that's kind of irritating. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's left alt scroll up. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I don't think I have a magazine in it either, so I <laughs> need to make sure that I put one in as soon as I... I just went in with 50-some people again, didn't I? Oh, no, this is this one. Okay. All right. Must be it always resets this. Why is it so sketchy right now? Okay. Now, that's one thing that I really do love about this game. Where are my quads? What? I don't have my quad nods on? Oh gosh. It's gonna be rough. It's not shooting. Check something real quick. Um, must be I don't have any in my uh, thing here. All right, fine. Don't know what pistols, baby. That's not good. Racket, racket, racket. Racket. I don't have anything. Okay. So apparently I dropped all my ammo on the ground or something back there. That was kind of weird. Oh well. Alright. Let's try this again, I guess. Holy cow. So it's in a rough state, I'd say, but it's one kid, he's been working on it really, really hard for a while now. Um, I really do want to show my support, I think that what he's got going on here is super cool with all the attention to detail and stuff, that is not what I want to do, I want to do this, there you go, yeah, I, oh I got this one, what a dump. <clears throat> That's a camera over there, right? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Alrighty. Gonna go in order the quad nods. Oh, hey, buddy. Get that off your face. Come on now. Sheesh. Get your act together there, fella. Alright, let's try this again. And I kind of want to do... Not that one. I don't know why. So it must be every time you die, you have to come back in here and reset things. Okay, so... Infiltration time. Actually, I'll show everybody that one. That one I think is pretty cool. Click 20. We'll go Forever War. That's uh, in Afghanistan. Which I think would be pretty fun. Operation type. 
high value target eliminate. Cool. Got some. Oh, this is a small little map here. Is that one of our guys or is that a bad guy? Is that a bad guy? It's a bad guy. Okay, how do I get. Like, what am I doing here? going on okay so yeah it's buggy boys oh I gotta head out oh okay okay there's like okay okay I gotta hit F to get off there okay fair enough not buggy that was on me that was on me definitely a lot of guys there for that though all right I'm gonna try one more at that uh Ukraine wrap things up here so it's 20 bucks okay um it's uh, not perfect, but it is a milsim game, and I think that it is headed in what I would say the right direction of what milsim games should be. It's it's a ton of fun um, when it works. Controls are pretty smooth. Uh, everything feels good. <clears throat> Everything's pretty tight. The gun plays good. I like the way that the, the gun feels, recoil. Um, yeah, I really think I like uh, pretty much everything about it. Just that uh, that map was super small. I don't don't quite get that, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Sense of intelligence. This is in Ukraine. Um, so yeah, I think overall he's got a ton of great ideas. I'd like to see as many people as possible purchase this game to give him the help that he needs. Um, I know that Ground Branch was in a very slow state for a while. Um, I don't remember who just came on board with them, but somebody did. And, uh, since they came on board, their updates have been getting bigger and more consistent as well. So, um, I really just, I do hope that we can continue to get the the support that we definitely should get for this game. It's I mean it's quite amazing. Like these nods right here as you can see you can see the clouds and the trees out the top of my nods because you know in real life the nods don't suction to your face and you, you do still have that uh that peripheral there so I think that's pretty neat that he added that in there. I think when all said and done, the graphics are going to be super sick. Um, the controls are pretty tight already. I mean, if I if I can take away one thing from this game right now, it's that the controls are super tight. They do feel really good. Um, it's more of just the uh, more of just the the gameplay right now. The gameplay aspect of maps um, I guess kinda the feel of things I really like this um, this this peaking oop dummy that's something I gotta get used to is there a... Is there a... Um, like, why is he shaking so much?
See that? Like, why is he shaking? Is there any way that I can calm that down a little bit? Lay down, maybe? Dude, you're still shaking, man? Come on. What are you doing? this for now uh online user zero redacted there's a lot of good here it really is just hoping that uh he can get the help that he needs really it's just not optimized if he could optimize what he has here right now i think that we'd have a lot of fun um, but getting it optimized, I know it takes time and money and experience in that as well. So he'll bring it along. And even if this is his first project and he makes enough to make another project with a bigger team, I think that a lot of people's eyes are on this kid right now. His name is Vector2, I think. Um, so far, huge, huge things coming to uh, Milsims after this this launch I think uh, a lot of games are gonna look at this and say hey we need to add that to our game you know what I mean so yeah um, that's my first impressions it's not good it's not great right now it's good if you can get it to run and uh, there's just a lot of keybinds I guess that's that was my main thing uh, keybinds and the bugs it just came out yesterday, uh, July 31st. I think that as the weeks and months go on, we'll see more optimization. We'll see things get tightened up here and there, you know. So, but yeah, I think I think I think we're going somewhere. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Um, catch you next time.